So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here and today in this video I just want to do a quick look kind of first impressions of the SH Figure Arts Berserker Armor Guts because I know a lot of people are very concerned and curious if it's going to be as bad as the Black Swordsman Guts which was like one of the worst figures ever made and most frustrating and people are just nervous that this is going to turn out as bad so you can see the box there here's the accessories he comes with a good amount of stuff you do have interchangeable legs which I, I, I couldn't get one of the legs off and I didn't even want to bother trying because I didn't want to break anything because of what happened with the Black Swordsman Guts ankles on my figure. I did get replacements and get a fix but you can see his interchangeable heads and helmets and then we do get that crappy cape and I am going to use my custom cape that we do have for pre-order right now on Etsy. Let's test out the ankles first make sure they don't break so the swivel is working so that's definitely good. They seem a bit more tight too and uh, we'll just take a quick look at the articulation you get the swivel at the uh, the hips there and the legs pretty much go all the way out uh van damme style but you can see my right leg keeps popping off there and that's what was the issue with the interchangeable legs that's why i didn't bother swapping them the knees bend back pretty much all the way so that's definitely good the torso also very well done you get some really nice pivot you get the swivel at the joints there my, my upper torso swivel is kind of tight crunches forward pretty good also goes back decently and i kind of like how they did the layering of the armor on the midsection we do have the same shoulder joint that a lot of people weren't a fan of. Some people didn't mind it. I, I feel like they definitely could have done something a bit better with those, but you do get nice movement out of them. You have the bicep swivel. The armor on the bicep also is articulated. You have the double jointed knees there, uh, and then the wrists uh, swivel and hinge. This piece here gets in the way of this head sculpt, so you really can't get them to look down too much. The regular helmeted head sculpt, you can get them to look down decently. Uh, looks up all right. Very nice pivot, and then swivel as well, and then the jaw can articulate also now here's something people are very curious about how are the wrist joints this time they do snap in thank god that was a huge issue with the black swordsman guts they can still pop off but nowhere near as bad as the black swordsman guts so they did fix up a few things some things very similar to the black swordsman guts and a lot of people also are, are wondering can he hold up the sword the horde the, the horde the sword is just a heavy piece of plastic so the, the shoulder joint isn't going to hold it up but you can get them in poses holding it with two hands and you can pose it around and get them to hold it in specific poses so see what i mean how it does still pop off but you could hear it snap back in when you peg it back on there and it came off again so uh my my hinge is really tight on mine so mine kept popping off when i was trying to articulate it but like i said the wrist joints are so so much better on this figure and that's a huge release i'll let you know right now the figure is definitely better than the black swordsman guts nowhere near as frustrating as that first guts figure thank god so they are they are redeeming themselves a bit with this figure and i know a lot of people uh, are just letting out a sigh of relief because i did when i first started messing with the figure but the sculpt detail beautifully done throughout the figure they nailed that right there like the sculpt detail on the armor just looks so damn sick man really love the way that looks on this guts here and also you can't holster the sword which is a bit disappointing also I forgot to show that you can kick the legs forward a bit more than 90 degrees so that is definitely awesome and uh, the couple issues i had is the left or right armor on the elbow did pop off on mine it does just clip back in so that's really the only piece that popped off so like i said nowhere near as frustrating as black swordsman guts and then i did have some looseness on my left uh hip or leg joint there as you can see so that kind of sucks so those are really the only main two big issues i had with mine but you can get them in good poses as i'm showing right here you could pose him in a nice like crouching type pose and and he isn't like annoying to pose around which was another huge issue with the first guts figure and and the ankle joints are a a, a bit more tight as well so he can stand up on his own pretty well even while holding the dragon slayer but yeah Tamashi Nations did slightly redeem themselves a bit with this figure here like I said nowhere near as frustrating as the black swordsman guts thank goodness but uh let's go over uh, I want to show you guys some quick comparisons I did do a YouTube short so it's going to be a, a, a different camera angle the vertical view quickly so uh let's go over that shall 
Well, yes. So for the height of Guts, he's about six and a half inches, same as the Black Swordsman. And then here he is compared to a few figures, as you can see here. I don't have the Black Swordsman Guts with me at the moment. He's a, he's in my storage unit, but they are the same height at six and a half inches. But you can see you can get him in some really good Guts type poses, which I, I'm super duper happy with. And as I mentioned before, while I was posing him, not, not frustrating to pose. It's fun to pose around. And like I said, that was a huge issue with the first Guts figure. So thank God Tamashi Nations is redeeming themselves a bit with this Berserker Armor Guts. And I hope the next figures that release continue and continue to get better and better. Kind of like their figure, their, their One Piece line. Because that line is kicking ass right now. It, it was off to a, a shaky start just like this line, and it got much better. So hopefully that's going to happen with the Berserk line. But that's the quick look or first impressions of the SH Figure Arts Berserker Armor Guts. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope I helped you out in, in, in figuring out if you do want to get the figure or not. Let me know in the comments what you think of it, and also let me know if you think Tamashi Nations redeemed themselves as well. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, I will catch you on the next episode of Daredevil 19, and I will also see you guys later. Start with revenge. I am the knight. Gonna change the future.